be high as fuck. Damn, really think I'm stuck. I be smoking on these cookies like the Zooties got me stuck. Loud past my like a stomp. Big round like a dunk. Walk them down with a pump. Bitch got booty, bitch a dunk. Like a friend, let her come. When we fall off. What's up YouTube and I'm back with another video. Today we're gonna be doing a leaf review. I know y'all haven't had one of these in a while since I posted my first one, but I seen that's what y'all like and so that's what we're gonna continue to do. But we're bringing a little leaf. Honey and honey. This is a brand I haven't heard before, so that's something I wanted to try. Um that wasn't a bad price either. Not at all, but we'll see what they smoking like. I mean, it's pretty much a dollar per leaf. Pretty little packaging. I mean, you know, you got your little warning and all. But we're going to be back. I'm going to crack them open and give them their first little lick so we can see how they taste or whatever. And then I'm going to go roll these veggies. We won't get to the nitty gritty part of the review. Boom. Cracked open as you see. First shot the pack. First shot the pack. And these are for leaves. They got decently dark one. Uh, this one a little deformed, but you know, it's right though. They all, they all smooth. They smell good. I mean, for other smokers, we all know. We go with the dark one. So, um, just for the best review, for people that might actually do try this after me. All right. This is the leaf of choice. In moment of truth. Just tastes like a leaf if you wanna be real. You got the honey aroma, but it just tastes like a regular leaf. The veggies is rolled. And um the lay rate as you can see. I give it an 8 out of 10 because it stayed down. You only had to lick it like once or twice, no gay shit. Cause hey, I ain't yeah. with that. I ain't with that. But, um, yeah. We're going to put a paper on it, but I ain't going to put a paper on it all the way so we can get like the flavor first. Alright, gang. I done added the paper. This is what I meant. But I'm going to add a little bit of paper so we can see how it's smoking. You feel me? We got this part that's sample. It's about to get critical. Yeah, it's Erski, man. <laughs> it's about to get critical. It's hot you too, huh? No SDK in this mug, man. <laughs> it's about to get critical. So what kind of what kind of wood is this again to? This is a low leaf cognac and honey. Okay, okay. Great. I can't tell. Oh, that's good. Mm. Trying to taste that thing. No gay hey, shit. Yo. No gay shit. They kind of smell like uh, more like honey. Yeah, like a honeycomb. Yeah. It's just like I'm finna pass it to you because you know this this so we both can keep it. Like we taste that bit. It got familiar taste, but it's not like honey though. Them some good veggies, but I feel them things. But <laughs> like I don't know what that flavor like. 
what to describe that flavor as. It's not a bad flavor though. Like it actually tastes pretty good. Like it tastes better than most woods in my opinion. That you buy from the market. It's straight. I don't it's not better than loosely. Oh nah. <coughs> and I'm talking about like grabba, true leaf stuff you like, like that. Better than grabba? No, I don't like it better than grub. It just tastes better than grub. Yeah, it do taste better than grub. It pulls smooth too. And it's burning pretty slow. That's what I was trying to pay attention to. I just like my grub. Oh, no, I love grub now. No, Y'all can never take me away from grub. I'm sorry. Grub, I feel like one day you should just sponsor me, man. man what? Definitely you should definitely sponsor. just sponsor me, man. Trying to tell you, you won't regret it. <laughs> we need to do a comparison video now. Right, comparing what? Loose leaf, jungle. No, nah, we gotta do a jungle leaf review first. Then we gotta do a comparison. Hell yeah. All those see which one we like best. Cause we already like most people already not had like good time leaf. What else? Another leaf that's known for real that most people uh Dutch leaf and squisher leaf. So them them people know about them, and we already that smart them before, so we can compare them to those two. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So far out of all like the backwood, the loose leaves and shit, them loose leaves. They hit. Swish at least, that was my go to before grabbing. Yeah, mine used to be <coughs> good time with this Russian cream. <coughs> and then I switched over to grab. But before the good time, it was game. Game lead? Yeah, I'm gonna say. I used to be on game leads heavy. Ugh. Like right now, I can't even, uh, game I can't even touch a game green no more. I, I started off on game greens and, and swishers. I can't even touch them things no more. Game we say. Mm -hmm. This shit smells so smooth. That bit is so awesome. And they do got a good flavor, like. Oh, I know that shit do taste good, bro. It definitely got like a, like it's like a hint or something. Yeah, like, but it's, it's like not honey, but it's like it's like it's like a. Yeah, like it's like it add to the flavor of the veggies instead of trying to be its own flavor. That's why I say that shit tastes so good. Just enhance it. Cause it's like a blended flavor. It's not no strong flavor like you taste when you smoking a great uh a great leaf or a great uh white owl you always taste that shit on your lips you don't do that with that i ain't never smoked the white owl you ain't never smoked the white owl they good why do i smell like a swisher mm. like i don't know i would I, I feel like white owl and swisher is the same leaf the different company they burn slow um, it depends on how you roll it. I thought white out, white nose for burning slow. They got slow they burns. Like they have, yeah, I was going to say, they got slow burn, like certain ones. <coughs> With Swisher, like, you know, if you want a slow burn, most people get, like, the Swisher Diamond. Hmm. Now, I don't know if y'all know about the Dark Swisher Leaf. I mean, not the dark swisher that they had limited time, but they jumped with him. I like the dark swisher. You know, it was a relo. Oh, yeah, it was actually a limited time. But I, I, got, I, I don't look at relo. See, I don't, I don't look at relo either, but it was limited time. My co worker ended up getting them because that was his favorite type of leaf. Because, you know, man, we. When you work a job, bro, yeah, your co-worker be your friend and that nigga be like 39, 40, bro. But that motherfucker be cool as hell. Like, I had one of them. Boy, what? I swear, when I was working at that, uh, the little outside job, boy, I knew some folks, they were like, he was like 45. 
and bro, he was a grown, bro, he was grown. He was talking about paying for pleasure and stuff like that. And I was like, hey, he's not. Like, these older for like, man. Yeah, I done talked to folks that actually like, they really pay for pleasure and they don't have no bro, the dude I was working with, he kept trying, like, bro. Every time we get paid, like when it's close to payday, he was like, yeah, you already know what I'm finna do. He got on this, this little website. I'm like, man, hey, it's now. Hey, it's now, man. Like, he is a loyal customer with them. I wonder if he get discounts. He probably do. He said sometimes they be, like, when you go to them a lot, they get to know you and stuff like that. Sometimes mm -hmm. they just pull up. Mm -hmm. Crazy. <laughs> That man built different. Yeah, working with older people, crazy. We're working with older people. That make you realize, bro. The at-home strippers is the ones. What? At-home strippers is the ones. That let you pay for the play. You work with? Them? Hell no. Nah. Uh, the old man used to tell them they, bro. It was so weird how I found this out. It's not every one of them, but it's like he knew exactly which one it was because he called her to the house for a party, and all the old man was talking about her, bro. I felt weird. Like, what the hell? Y'all all pay for one person? Freak shit. Yeah, that, that was. Yeah. <coughs> Working with old people, you learn a lot. Like pineapple couples, if you know what those are. Yeah, Sir. yeah, they have a lot of pineapple couples in the workplace. That makes stuff so weird. That ain't weird. I tear up somebody's wife. No, you supposed to exchange. That's how that works. Hmm. You supposed to exchange or go together. Oh, it's no exchange. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I said that. No, so, but sometimes they're just like, they just like, they, they just Some open. like the watch, though. Like, you got to realize, it's, it's very different once you, once you, you really talk to them. Me. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, dude, these, when you talk to these old people, like, that, that that's something you find out some some people like, and it's different. I'm not, I haven't, nah. <laughs> If they paying, hell yeah. What? If they paying good? Ah, dog is white. Oh. I thought you meant like with him watching? Hell yeah, yeah, baby. Hey, yeah. What if he wanna record though? If the pay good? I don't know about the record. Like, pay gotta I, be crazy. I was on board until the video part. I just gotta none of my tattoos can be shown. That's wild. They gonna know it's me. I'll be going crazy. They gonna know it's me. Mask on, <laughs> no tattoo show. My only rule with the recording. My uh, dog is wife. It's a certain amount of bread. They're just different. I learned a lot from old people, though. Man, give me a hundred thousand. That's a lot. <laughs> How much you think Adam got paid? More than that. You for real? I'm finna go look up the revenue. Now, give me realistic. I'll take 50k. 50k? Yeah, yeah. Take a look, he did. He's wild. Nah, you're not smashing my wife. But all right, y'all, we finna finish smoking or whatever. And I'm gonna do like a little, you'll see in the, when, when I do it. <laughs>